I'm going to be ranking the best power forwards in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to D tier. And we have about 25 of the best power forwards in the game. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below who are some of your guys' favorite power forwards in my team right now. And let me know what you guys would change about my tier list. But the first power forward we're going to talk about is going to be Diamond MPJ. I would say he's probably going to be either in that high B tier category or going to be in that A tier spot. I think for now, I'm going to throw him in B tier, but I probably will move him up to A tier later in the video. He's a power forward, small forward, six foot ten with a seven foot wingspan. He's just going to be a great offensive card. 89 three ball and 92 mid range. I do think he's a little bit better at small forward because defensively he's going to be better on the perimeter, having an 87 steal and an 88 perimeter. Only a 67 block and an 82 into 82 interior defense might be a little bit low for your power forward, but offensively he's got a great jump shot. 89 three ball. He's got Hall of Fame corner specialist, green machine, volume shooter, and he's going to be decently fast as well. So I'd say MPJ for the power forward spot probably going to be in that b tier category for the next uh, power forward is going to be amari stoudemire i would throw him in probably that c tier category i do think amari is actually pretty solid let me go quickly check him out on 2k db he's six foot ten with a seven foot one wingspan obviously can play power forward and center only a 78 three ball defense not going to be the best either but he is going to be good at going to the basket with a 95 driving dunk and a 95 vertical he's got hall of fame bully which is a really good badge I would say, yeah, Amari probably going to be in that C tier category. Definitely not a bad small forward, but are definitely not a bad power forward, but not on the same level as an, uh, as like a guy like MBJ. Pink Diamond Blake Griffin. I would probably put in that middle tier in that B tier spot as well. I don't think a guy like Blake is much better or even better than a guy like MBJ. He is going to be really good at going to the basket with a 98 driving dunk and a 98 standing dunk, but his defense is god awful. Not even going to be the fastest of cards, but he's going to fit the meta really well at going to the basket. So I think he still has to be somewhere in that B tier category. Talking about Pink Diamond Elden Brand, Elton Brand, I think he's probably going to be in the B tier category as well. I, I mean, we're looking at some D decent power forwards to start off this tier list no like a tier s tier guys but elton brand six foot nine seven foot five wingspan only a 68 three ball but i do think he has a pretty decent jump shot and then other than that i mean he's really not going to be the best you know i'm gonna throw elton brand and probably seeds here. I think he's a little bit lower than guys like MBJ and Blake Griffin. Talking about the next power forward, probably going to be the best power forward in the game, and that is going to be Opal Anthony Davis. I mean, we don't really have to check him out on 2KDB, but we'll just quickly go over him. I mean, you guys probably know why this card's super elite. He's six foot ten with a seven foot two wingspan. I mean, he pretty much has damn near perfect stats because he's a Galaxy Opal, and he's also got 15 Hall of Fame badges, including you know some really good defensive ones: anchor, chase on artist, interceptor, menace pick dodger pogo stick post lockdown he's got you know hall of fame claymore posterizer post bank technician he's going to be a great defender great rebounder he does have a really good jump shot and an 85 three ball so i would say anthony davis 1000 going to be in that s tier category if you guys don't know s tier is going to be my top five power forwards in the game and i think ad definitely going to be somewhere in that top five talking about pink, uh not pink diamond ben uh diamond ben simmons is he A tier for the power forward spot? I do like this Ben Simmons card a lot, but I'm gonna throw him in B tier for the one reason is because he can't shoot. If this card had a 63 ball, he would probably be in the S tier category, but he's still gonna be elite on offense at going to the basket. He's got a 90 driving dunk, 88 vertical. He's super fast, 91 speed, 91 acceleration. He's obviously gonna be a great defender. Like he is very elite at everything else except for shooting threes. He does have a 69 mid range, so he probably could shoot some mid ranges if you gave him some gold badges. But yeah, the biggest flaw of Ben Simmons obviously gonna be his jump shot. But I think even at the power forward spot without being able to shoot, I think he's still gonna be in that B tier category. Talking about Pink Diamond Chris Bosh, gonna be very similar to a guy like Blake Griffin we've gone over some just really solid power forwards nobody I think deserves to be in that A tier category except for our first A tier power forward and that's going to be surprisingly enough Pink Diamond Alonzo Morning. I think this card is really really elite and I think he's going to be the best power forward we've talked about other than Anthony Davis he's six foot ten with a seven foot six wingspan he's going to be an amazing defender with a 93 block and a 93 interior defense he's going to be decently fast 85 speed 85 acceleration he's got really good strength at a 95 
5, only a 74 3 ball, but he does have a 90 mid range. And I will say his jump shot isn't the best, but it definitely is greenable. So if you're wide open with this Alonso card, I think he's going to be great at going to the basket with also being a great defender as well. So Alonso Morning, he is going to be our first A tier power forward. Another A tier power forward, I think, is going to be Sean Kemp, but I might honestly move Sean Kemp up into that S tier uh, S tier category later in the video. But we all know why Kemp's going to be super lead. He's just going to be really good at going to the basket and he fits the meta perfectly because if you guys don't know rim running and slashing and just mashing in general and going to the basket is the meta of the game when you want to score the ball that is the best way to do so so sean kemp he is going to excel at that having a 95 driving dunk 95 standing dunk with also having a 90 strength and a 97 vertical his jump shot is actually really really money as well the only problem with the sean kemp card though is going to be his defense if he had better defense i would definitely put him in the s tier category but we may move him up into s tier later in the video talking about diamond dirk he is 1000 percent going to be in d tier as much as i like dirk cards you know in my team he's fun to use sometimes especially when he gets better cards later in the year but this dirk card is absolutely terrible i mean only 60 speed can't play any defense can't move the ball can't really go to the basket all he can really do is shoot threes but his jump shot is actually going to be pretty slow so dirk i think is definitely going to be in that d tier category looking at pink diamond james worthy he is going to be our second power forward in that s tier category james worthy an absolute monster at that power forward spot he's just going to be a super well-rounded card six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan you guys can look at the stats look at the badges he's going to be an amazing rim runner with a good jump shot he's basically just a better Sean Kemp. Yes, Sean Kemp's going to be better at slashing, but James Worthy's the better defender by far. He's got probably better of a jump shot, and he's going to be really good, you know, at shooting threes and taking people off the dribble, definitely being really fast with the ball in his hands. Talking about Pink Diamond, Jermaine O'Neal, I think he's probably going to be in the C tier category. I'm not really the biggest fan of Jermaine. I know some people do like him a lot, but for me, I'd probably throw Jermaine O'Neal in that C tier spot. Diamond Elvin Hayes, this card is an absolute garbage man i know dbg i think was talking about how he said he was pretty good or you know how he's not terrible but this elvin hayes card i just really don't like should i put him in c tier i think i might put him in c tier i don't think he's very good but we'll just throw him in c tier because other than not being able to shoot threes he doesn't look to be that bad of a power forward so elvin hayes i think is going to go in that c tier category pink diamond lebron i mean i didn't really know if i should have him on this tier list because obviously he's an amazing small forward but i think he's still a top five power forward in the game you might think he's a little bit undersized but i don't think so at all because james worthy six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan and so is LeBron. And LeBron's probably got a player, uh, better player model in game. Now, 80 interior defense, 80 block is solid. Like, what does James Worthy have for the interior and the block? I'm not exactly sure. Let me just go quickly check. What is James Worthy's block and interior? Yeah, it's actually be pretty much lower than LeBron. So. I would say LeBron definitely not going to be undersized to the power forward spot. Obviously better at small four, but I still think he's going to be a top five uh, top five power forward in the game. So he is going to be in that S tier category. Talking about Pink Diamond KG, I think he's probably going to be an S tier, but I'm just going to throw him into high A tier for now and we'll maybe move him up into S tier later in the video. KG obviously going to be a great defender and going to be super good on the offensive end as well. Talking about Pink Diamond Larry Johnson, I think he's going to be in B tier. He is going to be very similar to a, a guy like Pink Diamond Zion. And I think Pink Diamond Zion might be in a tier but i think he's going to be in high b tier for now larry johnson and zion are very very similar larry johnson's going to have a little bit better of a jump shot in my opinion where zion's going to be a lot better going to the basket but i do think they're both going to be b tier power forwards talking about the next power forward here is going to be danny manning and i think he's solid probably going to go in that uh, C tier category. Maybe he gets moved up to, you know, B tier. He's six foot 10 with a seven foot wingspan, only 79 three ball. But other than that, yeah, he probably deserves to be in maybe B tier. I don't know. Is he as good as guys like MPJ, Chris Bosh? I'm going to throw him in C tier for now. We might move him up to B tier later in the video. We got two more takeover cards or not takeover cards. We got Tim Thomas definitely going to be in that S tier category. Once again, probably better at small forward and most people would run him at small forward but i still think he's going to be in the top five for power forwards we don't have to look at tim thomas on 2kdb we all know what he can do definitely the best card in the game so 1000 percent going to be the best small forward unless you want to count a guy like anthony davis over him but looking at diamond kenyon martin i think he's going to be in c tier really not that crazy good of a card talking about amethyst robert williams i think he's going to be in b tier for a budget card and just in general like he's an absolute beast and i think if you guys are looking for a budget power forward i think he could be a really good 
good option. He's six foot eight with a seven foot wingspan, but he's going to be an amazing defender with a 92 block and an 84 interior defense. He's also got a 90 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk. He's going to be glitch in the three point shooting, I'm pretty sure. So he's got an 88 three ball and an 84 mid range. All around though, this card is going to be amazing at that power forward spot. So I do think he's going to be in that B tier category. I would probably move Jermaine O'Neal probably into B tier as well. I think he was the best guy in that C tier category. Talking about Pink Diamond Kevin McHale, I think he's going to be an A tier. Definitely a solid power forward. Not sure if I'm necessarily going to put him in S tier. Looking at the next power forward is going to be Diamond Moses Malone. And I think he's once again also going to be in that A tier category. And then to round off the list, we're going to go with Pink Diamond Zach Randolph. Really not the biggest fan of him. So now we got to make a decision. We got to take any one of these power forwards in A tier and we got to move them up into the S tier category. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below between Sean Kemp, Kevin Garnett, Kevin McHale, Moses Malone, Alonzo Mourning. Who would you guys put up into that S tier category? For me, I'm going to move up the Pink Diamond Kevin Garnett. And then I'm also going to probably move Pink Diamond Zion Williamson up into A tier. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the tier list? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.